Good morning, it is 11am on Friday the 24th of May and it's time for today in my Ujo. How are you? Are you alright? Did you have a good day yesterday? Um, I, mine was alright I suppose, you didn't really do much, you know, like you do. So, I'm just going to mark off that I did yesterday's word and um, my night face cream and my hands and here we go yay and I will jump through to today's word yes I did write today's word in so yay me Um, okay, I did yesterday's pain and mood trackers. Now I need to do the steps. So, 12,115. I'm trying really hard to keep my flipping head out of shock because I'm so aware that I keep going like that, you know, because I have this bad habit of leaning forward. No, I just don't know how to do it without getting my flipping head in the shot. Unless I do it like my old setup where I have the camera a lot lower, but then it's, it feels like it's in the way. Which, of course, was the whole point, I suppose, really. But I did try and fart around with it yesterday to maybe bring it a little bit lower, but um, the arm it's on is only really short. It's, it's you know, not even two foot. And it's attached to my lamp, which is behind my computer. So to bring it down, took it closer to my computer screen, which then meant I had to angle it, which changed the angle of everything. So it's a bit like, oh, that's not going to flip in work either. I need one of the arms, you know. Here comes Daryl. Yeah. Are you YouTube? I am, yeah. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Um, I was just going outside going for a race on my time cycle. You're going for a race, are you? On my time cycle. On your cycle. time cycle. What, like Teen Titans? Yeah. <sighs> I ride the rocket. Right, yes, yeah, so do I. And do you like that? Mm. Okay. Um, I did. sorted the budget out yesterday. Yay me. And that's about as far as I got. Well, that was yesterday. Oh, man. I journaled in the wrong day. Oh, well. I don't suppose it really matters. So one thing I have discovered, the archival ink goes through. You can't see it because I put loads of white watercolour on top of it. You can possibly see a very faint impression. But, yeah. Even the light grey, that grey archival ink bleeds through Tomway paper and yet when I got it I actually did stamp using on draw um, distress inks and they were okay or they seemed to be okay because I stamped using black soot um, but and that didn't bleed through but archival ink that one seems to so I shall have to do a little bit more experimenting. I'm a bit annoyed about because I've just bought a load of archival ink. Never mind. Right, change your pen. Okay. So tired. I had a really bad night last night. I'm stroppy with it. High of 18 and a low of 12. The sun came up at 5.05 .05 and we'll set at 2 minutes to 9.
nearly there, we're nearly at the 9pm. Okay. I've done my day face cream. And I've got some makeup on. Pull a card. Pull a card, any card. That was a green witch tarot today. No, I pulled her last month. I'm sure, I did. No, it's not there. Oh, no, I put it on the 13th. When I pulled this on the 13th, um, I thought it was Daryl. I saw a young person who was testing themselves, testing the surroundings, pushing boundaries a little bit. But um, as many of you know, my next youngest son, who's you know 23, has recently got a job and um, it's about to change management. He's about to get a new supervisor and she seems to be relying on him quite a bit. You know, he's shown that he's a hard worker. He's shown um, to take initiative and to assert himself so i actually think this might be talking about alex which is really really cool so i'm actually going to write this in in alex's color um even though i didn't write that in daryl's color but you know so yeah sorry about the strip show in the background i wrote um alex question mark showing initiative vigilance working hard towards a goal so yeah it might be that that is actually Telling me about Alex, which is quite cool. You know, it's quite cool. So yeah, right. Uh, did that last night. I need to write that in. Twelve one one five. It's not showing up very well. I don't know whether the pen itself is dying or what. Twelve one one five, which is five point zero. It shouldn't be because you can actually see the ink in it. Right, um, okay, so last night, come back, I slept from three, because Daryl was in with me, until eight this morning, and it was not a very good night again, because he's coughing, and I'm in pain, and what we on Friday, aren't we, the 24th, yeah, so I've done the loo, and there's a load of laundry in the machine. I hope it's not too loud. And it's recommended that you don't put your laundry on while you're filming a video. But dude, if I don't put my laundry on while I'm filming a video, I'm going to move that because it flops off the end of the page. Um, right, I need to set up the races. I'll finish setting up next week. Which I'm sure you've probably seen a couple of glances of, but I'm still not unveiling it until it's ready. I'll finish doing that tonight. Yeah, so I journaled in the wrong day. Oh my god. So what did I do Wednesday? Oh, we went out with mum. Okay, so I need to write myself a note. Need it to be in a colour that I will notice. I'll just put this entry as Thursday's mixed journal days up. Okay. It was a bit of a tough day yesterday. So, what I'm going to do now is um, just quickly journal for yesterday, well, for Wednesday, while I'm still thinking about what happened while it's fresh in my head. Okay. Quick journal in. Right. Now, Kiwi was out of bounds because it was one of the ones that got broken, but it just so happens it's one of the ones that Wendy sent me in my um, surprise box recently. So, 
it's brand new so I really 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 hope it actually works this time that's margarita mix anyway it's the wrong fucking one I opened the wrong fucking one double check I am opening the right one this time yeah so do you guys barbecue in the summer do you just do family or do you have friends around I know barbecues are big in the states a lot of you barbecue up in the states don't you Call it a cookout, or is that Australian? I don't know. Um, do you always invite friends and family round, or do you just do it as you and yours that you know live within your household? I'm thinking of like larger families, like Amanda and that lot. Because um, there's only me and um, two of my sons living here at the moment. Yay! Um, so I usually do it on a day when like my second child is not working because he's a chef uh, maybe because I get him to cook but um, you know so I try to do it when all of my family is available and last year my partner you know we've spoken out now that my partner would come and I would invite the people down the road and you know all of that lot I'm sort of wondering how many people do you invite to your barbecues you know I'd like to invite more people, but I don't really have that many local friends, you know. I talk to all you lot, but I'm quite a loner, really. I don't... I'm sort of put, thinking about putting a thing on Facebook going, um, barbecue my house on such and such a day at such and such a time. If you need to ask for the address, you're not that kind of friend that I want to come, you know. <laughs> or, you know, words to that effect. If you don't know my address already, then I obviously don't want you to come. I don't know. I'll well, see. The filaments of the wipes are getting caught where it's such a rough cut. Mm. But then I suspect if I complain, you'll say, oh, I didn't know you were going to use it over and over and over. I did tell him it was for crafting, but I don't think he was paying any attention. It's not held up well, this. And while I do really, really like it, I don't know that it's something I would want to use too often because I think eventually it's going to fall to pieces. It's too thin. Let's check to see whether I left him feedback. So I need to go shopping today because we are low on the frozen food side of my kitchen. Um, yeah, so we've got to do that today. Don't want to, really not in the mood. I'm finding I'm becoming a bit of a recluse and I don't really want to go out at the moment, but that's all linked to the mood dipping slightly. Mm. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave that there and I will see you this evening for the evening edition. I hope you have a fantastic day and um, yeah, see you then. Evening. A really good day. I've just had the weirdest shit ever. I was some. Um, putting some rubbish out and there was a Spanish couple there and I said are you lost and he said oh no we're looking for you I was like right he said we've got a reservation I was like, sorry some I'm, I'm a private residence you know and they'd booked uh, a room through Airbnb my address on it I said well no I'm sorry you know I don't you know, I've, I've never rented rooms here. So he's like, oh, so I've tried to send him off to Santa. He's paid 150 quid and he turned up because I don't, oh, I'm like, oh my God, you know. Okay, anyway. Let's uh, get on with it. Yeah, I'm just baffled for the poor bloke, you know. Um. 
I don't know what to write under challenges because I'm going to do the lettering challenge but I'm not doing the drawing challenge because I'm not drawing garbage pile kids and cabbage patch kids and all that shit because I think they're gross, all of them. So yeah, so I'm going to leave that blank I think. I'll do the lettering but that's it. I've had booze, I've had fizzy caffeine. Um, I haven't had chips. I did not craft. is a mess. <laughs> um, the pain is up there again. The mood's come up a little bit but not 100%. That. I've done any of it. I'm going to blitz my kitchen tomorrow because I've been a bit lax in keeping it clean and we get ants around here if we're not careful. Okay, I set up the races. I set up next week. I ordered some zinc paper. I finally got around to having a go at tea dyeing paper. <laughs> I actually stopped writing it several weeks back. Um, I need to sort out some washi some Gemma, if you're watching, I'm really sorry I haven't been in touch with you. But as you can see, the, my mood's been a bit... A bit crap. Okay. I'll get in touch with you probably on Saturday, darling. I'll sort you out some washi samples as well. So today my daughter and I went out for lunch, which was lovely. Well, it wasn't lunch, it was more we had cake. <laughs> um, I'm just erasing some of the pencil lines that I can see on my toucan. Is it toucan or toucan? Does it really matter, does it? Looks a bit better. Doesn't look quite so, quite so sketched. Yes, I tea dyed some plain paper, which, hang on. I'm quite pleased with that It's not chronically dark, but. So I did six sheets um, last night, I've done another three, but then I've also printed up on three other sheets um, some teeny tiny teeny tags <laughs> from Genevieve, one of her packs, and also a um, from her top notes pack is um, an envelope, which I've done that as well, but some of these are, you know, that's one of the larger tags, you fold it in half. Um, so that, yeah, that's one of the larger tags on her watercolour. Yeah, it was just plain with watercolour on it. And then I've tea dyed that. But some of these are, you know, ridiculously small. I mean, for fuck's sake. But I thought, you know, it might look cute. <laughs> so I, I printed up the plain one and the watercolour one. Or was it the plain and the watercolour? Yeah. No. The watercolour and the collage set. Um, the plain top notes and then three more plain bits of paper but I just have to look at through some of the stuff that I've got and um, there's some pretty little things in there that I might have a go at printing up and tea dyeing I might have to get some coffee as well even though I can't stand the smell 
but I did try it with fruit tea that um, Andy sent me but it didn't take now I don't know whether it's because it's caffeine free tea does it need to be caffeinated tea for it to take can I use instant coffee or does it have to be real coffee granules you know I don't know okay the word is Mustang Sally by Wilson Pickett now I'm going to have to go doing it in this oh, I don't know. I'm cutting it a bit fine there aren't I I'll do the fancy font another day Right, um, so I'm using the purpley pen, and I'll just write it there. Yeah, right, that's it. Um, I'm not going to be drawing in the, um, I have to say it's, what was it today? Garbage Pile Kids, and I won't be doing the Cabbage Patch Kids tomorrow. Sorry, but they're fucking gross. I never liked them. But I will do a bunch of bananas tomorrow. So there you go. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> um, we went here for cakes. We go here quite often for cakes. And Wendy sent me this washi tape, which flamingos and tropical leaves, which I thought actually fit in, being as I did um, tropical flowers, pineapple, tropical drink, yeah, tropical leaves, and that is because it's been quite tropical. A lot of this, I thought that washi tape just fit in, and I keep. You know, Wendy's determined to make me scrapbook, so you know I'm not going to resist. I'm I'm trying my hardest. So there we go. Right, I'm going to do a little bit of journaling, and then I'm going to go to bed. That was really short, sweet. It was only ten minutes. Usually I've got a good sort of forty-five minutes worth to put in there, but I've usually got a draw in. So yeah, I apologise about that. But then again, I am really tired. So it'd be nice to go to bed in a minute. Once I got that light out of the tea. <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment. You know, we love comments. Daryl and I both love the comments. Um, oh, God. If you guys see my Facebook post. I um, was in here doing something. I don't know, Daryl's been awfully quiet. Because uh, he was playing quite happily out in the garden and coming in and out and in and out like he does. And I thought... He's not been in for a couple of minutes. He's been very, very quiet. So I walked out and... <laughs> I walked out into the garden just in time to see him standing on my... Um, on the table that's out there, the patio table, which is glass. He was standing right on the edge of it and he jumped off. My normal reaction would be, what the fuck? You'd be very proud of me. I stood down and went, what are you doing? And he turned around and he looked at me with a look on his face. And I was like, what are you doing? Jumping. <laughs> Well, I felt really fucking stupid after that. So I was like, oh, could you not? <laughs> yeah, but you know, regular, regular patio table and it's made of fucking glass too. And he got on the garden bench and onto the table, walked to the other end of the table and was jumping off the end. And I was like, panic. Panic. Total panic stations. So, anyway. <laughs> oh, God, it's not one thing, it's another. Yeah. Anyway. 
I'm gonna go and I will uh, see you all in tomorrow's video click the book and you'll be subscribed hit the bell and you know fingers crossed YouTube will link you will be notified when I upload new content Thank you so much for coming back every day, you guys. You, I know who it is that comes back and watches because you guys leave me comments and I love it. I love waking up in the morning and seeing comments, you know. So even if it's just a, hey, you know, how are you? I did this today or I didn't do that today or in the case of Gemma, hey, you bitch, you didn't text me. You know, whatever. I don't care, you know. I love my messages. I will message you Saturday tomorrow, Gemma. Um, I'll just back couple of days girl but I feel a bit better today so um yeah say something converse I love conversation come on interact with me I hope you're all okay um if you're not okay you know let me know that as well I'm all if you're not okay guys because I know that a lot of the people that I talk to or, you know we all suffer from anxiety or depression or you know various other whatevers hey if you're not okay you know you can you know you know how to get hold of me do it click it I'm always good for a chat even if I'm having a shit day I'm always willing to sit and listen to somebody else okay love you all take it easy